I've thought about this for a really long time and I decided that I am doing it. Hi, my name's Natalie and I am a hamster lover. Um, that's kind of what I think I'll be posting about most. I have two hamsters. Anyways, um, Bo and Booger, Boogie is what we call him, are both really young. Um, he's so, he's just, <laughs> he's actually out running. Anyway, um, today I'm gonna be redoing their cages, basically. But first, we have a package from Petco. This is, this has some of the stuff that I need to redo their cages. Soon, I think on Wednesday, which is in two days, I'll have more, um, cleaning cozy bedding. And I, I think I got 72 liters of it coming, so that's good. But, let's open this. Um... So I think there's only two things in this package actually, but I have more coming today. Um, I might end up showing them, maybe not, but I might. This is big. I did not think this was gonna be so big, but I got a scooper, because normally I would just do it with gloves, clean out their cages, but I thought it might be easier, so I got a scooper. And then here's more aspen bedding, but this is way chunkier than what I have over here. This is the bedding I got. I hope that they like it. It's not as soft as the other stuff that I have. It's kind of bigger. Um, but this is what I have over here. I got this from Walmart, so. Soft aspen bedding. So let me tell you a little bit about their cages. Um, I tried to, I, I can't find any water bottles like for aquariums because all of them have the wire things so that you can put them with the wire cages, but I don't like wire cages, but. Anyways, um, so right now for the little one, Boogie, I am using a cap, like a little cap. Both of their cages are kind of boring right now, and I'll be honest, um, I really would love to get more stuff for them, and I'm working on it, but I don't have any money right now. Um, I'm getting, or I'm gonna get hired somewhere eventually, whether that's Walmart or McDonald's. I'm hoping it's Walmart, but we'll see. Um, and then I'll get more hamster stuff for them. I love my hamsters. I love them. I love them a lot. I love them a lot. Um, and I, I just want them to, I want to have like a natural kind of theme for their cages, I guess. You know, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll put pictures up if I really have to, but. Welcome to my channel. I hope that you like it. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna be posting, honestly, or how often that'll be, but it's probably gonna be mostly hamster stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what goes down. So here's where I keep the hamster cages. I just thought that maybe I should show you them before. This is the 40 gallon, obviously, and this is the 20 gallon. Um, I can't remember the square inches that this one has or this one really, but as you can see, they're kind of boring. Um, like really boring. I put a cardboard thing right over there under their hut. This one's hut. This is um, Bo's cage, and he can burrow under the cardboard. And then he has a little coconut. Here's his food dish, which is empty because he eats um, and empties his bowl, besides the pellets, uh, every night whenever I fill it up. The little one's cage is right here. The little cap, his little water cap is right there. Uh, he has two toilet paper rolls I just throw in here, and he kind of puts wherever he wants. He has a peanut house, um, here's his wheel, and a coconut house. Let's get to cleaning. His has a top because he escaped, and I don't have a problem with the little one escaping. Escaping, little bit of bust. I'm gonna take this whole way off. Here's Bo. He's covered in fluff, like always, but he's a sweetie pie. I love him very much. I cannot wait for more clean and cozy bedding. I got brown this time though, and I'm hoping it's the same softness. Um, I haven't even ever seen the Katie clean and cozy um, in anything other than white, I don't think. Okay, really I'm feeling like um, I might just be better off with a whole garbage bag, so I'm gonna go get one of those.
So I'm not gonna take out all of the bedding because one, there's so much of it, and two, you're not even really supposed to take it all out whenever you clean their cages at once. Um, and this will be the first time I cleaned out his whole big cage. Anyways, I'm gonna wait to put more of the clean and cozy bedding in um, whenever that gets here, which should be Wednesday, which is in two days. Um, so there might not be as much bedding as he had before. He's moving the house. <laughs> but there might not be as much bedding as he had before, but it'll all be cleaner. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this that I just got today from Petco. Let's open it up. I might end up using the whole bag and then adding some of the Aspen bedding in afterwards, but we'll see. I have to keep in mind, I have to clean the other one's cage too. Not as bad though, this one needed cleaned really bad. But um, I need to clean some of this out. Probably more like spot cleaning than the whole thing, but we'll see. So this amount is technically not even really enough. It, it's almost to it. Actually, yeah, it probably is. Maybe a little bit more, but I used that whole thing. And I think this is all I'm gonna do for now. Like that's a lot of space that he has up here, but I don't wanna use all the bedding. It smells so much better. Hi, Bo. He'll start burrowing like right away. Do you see him over there? He's like, peace out. <laughs> Little does he know, I'm, I'm about to put his cardboard thing over there. Nah, I might as well put it over there. Hi, buddy. Hi. He's so cute. Another thing I like to do is called scatter feeding or sprinkle feeding or something. But basically you just scatter it around their cage. Um, it gives them something to do and I don't have a lot for them to do in their cages right now so it, it's good to do. <laughs> I am going to use a little bit of this because he really does not have that much room to burrow and that's how he sleeps. So I'm going to put some of this in. really should have enough or you don't see that if they're really trying to burrow down and I feel bad because I can see it but we'll see if I have more um okay finished product It'll look way better. I promise it's gonna look way better whenever the other stuff comes. Moving on to Booger's cage or Boogie's cage. Um, he's kind of a stinker, so whenever I pick him up, I use this mug. Um, I still need to bond a little more with him. He's not used to me as much as Bo is, but he's cute. But anyways, his fluff is still pretty clean. So I'm probably not gonna use so much or take out so much that I did <clears throat> like I did for the other one but we'll see this is what his water sitting in and as you can see there's fluff in it so I need to clean that out I got him a new water bottle and it's coming today it's not even a water bottle it's like a I don't even know how to explain it but so if you guys can see him here he is <laughs> So as you saw, I didn't take out as much as I did for Bo. And honestly, I feel like I don't even really need to add much into here, but I'm going to. All done with that he's still up you probably saw him running on the wheel but I'm gonna do a little kind of reveal thing I guess
you're probably gonna hear them digging around but i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i actually upload this but i'll be back with more videos